Welcome to 6 o'clock news. My name is Richard Crove. Today's top story, almost two months after what some call the Night of the Living Chickens, the final victim has been cured. On Halloween night, a strange epidemic began in the small town of Bredon, a few miles south of Nepburn. Witnesses claim a strange army of chickens began sweeping through the town, and a single touch from this poultry army would mutate you into one of their own kind. The effects would wear off after a 24 hour period, however, the infection spread rapidly and was only just finally stopped last night, the last known victim being a gentleman in his late 60s residing in Ephesia. The public has been urged not to panic and any traces of this strange infection will be dealt with accordingly. The cause of this strange epidemic is still unknown, but we will inform you of any updates as the situation progresses. Moving on, viral Facebook star Backwards Baseball Cap has been arrested for setting fire to a movie theater because they quote, end quote, wouldn't let me eat the popcorn on the floor. This has been the fifth time this month she has been arrested for this. All this snow is getting on my nerves. It's been snowing every day for the past week. You should have gotten used to it. How am I supposed to do that? I am not built for the cold. It's not that bad, you guys. Yes, it is, Sasha. It's killing me. Can we go get something warm? All of the shops are closing. Ooh, what about coffee? That place near Blycar's shirt is open until 7. Can we go there? I'd rather not. I'm not in the mood for coffee today. Why not? Doesn't Ivan work there? Maybe he could give us a discount. Plus, it's right next to us. Ivan and I aren't friends anymore, and I'm pretty sure he's working right now. Okay then, you can wait outside and we'll go inside and get you something. Anyway, I want to see him. I heard he got pretty hot. He looks exactly the same. It's only been a few months. Stop being such a buzzkill, Sasha. What even happened between you guys? Wait, wait, wait. I heard from Jack Mackmore. That guy from physics? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, something happened between Ivan and that old principal last year. Where'd you hear that from? Jack told us that the old principal called him into his office and asked him to help him with some sort of ritual. What? You really believe him? I've heard other things, too. Mr. Vivanka was apparently into the cult and stuff. I also heard rumors that there was some sort of treasure hidden somewhere, and Vivanka was trying to find it. That's just not true, though. You two are way too gullible. How would you know, anyway? You were close to Ivan last year. Did he mention anything? No. No, he didn't. It's just dumb rumors. It's probably just Jack wanting some attention. Oh, I'll give him some attention. Gross. Can we just change the subject, please? Me and Ivan aren't friends anymore, let's just leave it at that. Alright, fine. But I still want that coffee. You guys can do what you want. I think I'm gonna head home. Already? I'm just tired. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's getting pretty bad out there. How long did they say that it was gonna snow? I'm not sure. Let's just hope it stops by the time we end our shift. I don't even know how I'm gonna get home. Me neither. And it's dark out too. Man, I hate the snow. It's cold, slippery, and really cold. I don't think I've ever had a good experience with snow. Can't you do a spell that gets rid of it? You're powerful enough to do that, right? I don't even think there's a spell for that. Even then, I'm not that strong. Didn't you start magic at a really young age? Yeah, I started when I was four. 
Normally, people would start a few years later. It's probably because my parents used to be magic users. Used to? There was this incident a few years ago that drained my parents of their magic. They can't do spells anyway, no matter how hard they try. But they still support me. Can I ask what happened? I don't know. I can't remember. I was really young when it happened. All I remember is a flash of light, and then my parents were hospitalized for a few months. I had to stay with my grandparents until they had been healed. Well, at least they're still supporting you. Yeah. And anyway, I think they prefer not having to constantly be practicing. They're more relaxed now. I'm glad. Anyway, we should probably go clean the tables. I don't want Michelle shouting at us again. Hey, that was your fault last time. Not long now, guys. In exactly three hours, we're free from this prison. God, the past four months have gone by so fast. How are we already at the end of the year? I generally can't remember anything I learned this year. It's weird. That's because you have the brain of a goldfish, Michael. That's not true. Your memory is way worse than mine. <laughs> That's not saying much. Both of you can barely remember what day it is half the time. I'm being bullied. So, Michael, any plans for Christmas? Actually, my parents have decided to have some people over. It's not exactly Christmas, but at least I get to see my cousin again. You have a cousin? Yeah, her name is Sarah, and she lives with my aunt in Middlesbury. I haven't seen her what seems like years. Do our parents treat her right, at least? My aunt decided to cut ties with my mom a few years ago. She didn't really like how she treated me. She even tried to get their custody over me, but that didn't work out. Why are they coming round then? That'd be so awkward. Apparently, my mom wants to reconnect with her. I highly doubt it'd end well though. Well, at least you have something to do this year. Yeah, I was about to start Operation Save Michael or something, I don't know, part two. I have a few ideas for it. Tyler, you're losing it. I think you're just jealous you didn't come up with that name yourself. Trust me, I'm not. What about you guys? What are you gonna do this year? My dad's bailed on me again, so it's just me and my mom this year. Again? What's his excuse this time? Same as last year. Apparently he's been held up at work again. He probably hasn't. He just doesn't want to come here to see me. Not surprised. Your dad's horrible. Do you guys think the snow will let up anytime soon? It's been like this for nearly three days. Well, it's stopped now, but it's been snowing non-stop all day. At this point, I don't even think we're going to make it all home. I'd prefer that, to be honest. Alright, have fun. Have fun? Didn't Teresa just... Tyler, I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. Hey, I should probably get going. I need to go check with Mr. Garcia about the homework. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, are you feeling alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Have fun? What the hell was that all about? Was what about? You keep saying random stuff. It's getting creepy. She said she had to go twice. She's the creepy one. No, she didn't. Tyler, are you losing it or something? She literally said she had to go twice. Were you not paying attention? She didn't, dude. What are you talking about? Michael, if you're just gonna keep going on about it, then go do it somewhere else. Stop it. I'm really sorry about that. I wasn't looking where I was going. It's fine. You are alright? Yeah, sorry about that. I really didn't mean to walk into you. I was just hurrying around. I have a class soon and I have no idea where it is. I don't think I've seen you around before. Are you a freshman? I transferred here a week after Halloween. My parents decided to move at the worst time imaginable. Oh, so you're new to Brayden? Yeah, I was too. It took me a few months to know my way around this place, and I still have to ask my friends for directions. I think the problem is they never gave us a map or anything. They just expect us to know our way around this place. What classroom are you looking for? I might be able to help. Oh, it's, uh, A23. A23? 
Oh, yeah, I know where that place is. It's... Oh, no. I'm so sorry. What? Is something wrong? You have Miss Blevitz next. Well, it's your funeral. Oh, yeah. It's that classroom. Do you want me to walk you over there? Break's almost over. <laughs> that would be great. My name's Paige, by the way. Paige Murphy. And my name's Tyler Evergreen, but I'm sure you already know that. I'm kind of famous around here. I see you're a very confident person. Only on the outside. I'm crying on the inside. I don't think I've ever related to someone as much. I'm quite the comedian, I think at least. Come on, Miss Blevins is gonna shower you if you're late. Hey, you're Charlie, right? That is me. You're... Teresa? <laughs> you betcha. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought you left school. Zoe left some of her stuff here, so I'm just here to collect it. Have you seen Mr. Doubledore recently? I want to say hi. Oh, Mr. Doubledore left in November. <laughs> Turns out that the experiment he did with the chicken virus landed him a lab upstate. I can't believe I just said that. Well, a chicken apocalypse isn't the weirdest thing that's happened in this town. I'm almost scared to hear more. Maybe you should swing by the magic shop one time. Maybe bring the ginger one with you. Emily's been really reluctant to go back there. Probably because she almost died the last time she visited. But I had it worst. To be honest, she got off easy. Well, good thing that whole ordeal is over. I can promise you, I won't, won't trash your store again. <sighs> well, I can't promise that, but you know what I mean. Ivan's weird sometimes. I vaguely remember him. We barely talked while we still went here. He's definitely a lot nicer ever since he stopped hanging out with Sasha. I guess she was a bad influence on him. Hmm. I should probably get going. Feel free to stop by the magic shop if you ever want to get something. I will, I promise. Hey, that girl you told me about. Her name's Teresa, right? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, she goes to Braden High. You really think I should do that? Well, you're the boss. Uh-huh. I've been wanting to do something like this for ages. Toby! Don't you get off at six? They're hosting a Christmas party at the station. It got way too crowded there, so I decided to come check in on you. Tobes, I've already told you that you don't need to check up on me. I'm fine. Well, with all the stuff that's been happening recently, I just want to make sure you're safe. You found out something, haven't you? Yep. Should we tell the kids too? Well, is it bad? Uh, just a bit. A very bit. Okay, it's really bad. Oh god, what is it? Okay, so, I've been driving around Brendan like a maniac for the past week, noting down all the weird patches of dirt that have been appearing, and I just, I figured something out. The first patch reported was on July 20th, and the second on August 20th, both on the west side of town. From then, all the patches started appearing quicker and quicker, but none appear on the east. What does that mean? Okay, they started on the west side, mainly in farmlands and wooded areas, but they started to gradually appear closer and closer to the center of town. On Tuesday, one appeared past the center. The patches of dirt are moving towards the east side of town. They're going somewhere. Do you know where that somewhere is? Not much is on this side of town, except... Oh god, the school? You betcha. I think you were right. Vivanco not completing the ritual caused these dirt patches to appear. But why, though? I'm not sure. But we need to stop the spread. What has the science sector said about it? They inspected some of the dirt, and they had nothing to report. It was just normal dirt. The only weird thing about it was its complete and utter lack of nutrients or anything organic. When the patches of dirt appear, the ground just completely dies. This doesn't make any sense, though. Why are they coming here? I'm not sure, but I can't do anything more searching with it constantly snowing outside. I'll have to wait until the new year. Okay, that's fine. But we need to stop this fast, before it spreads to the whole of Brayden. I'm working on it. Do you think we could tell the mayor about this? 
We'll tell Miss McPherson once we've grasped the scale of what's happening. Paku's presence needs to remain hidden. We can't risk outing ourselves too early. I guess. Anyway, that was all. I guess I'll see you next year. Swing by my place on Christmas. I'll get you something. I will too. Sorry if I'm bothering you, but can I sit here? Oh, hey, Paige. Who's this? Paige is new here. I met her earlier. Also, sure. I moved here not long ago. I really don't know my way around here. I see you found yourself a freshman, Tyler. I didn't just find her. I bumped into her earlier. You really need to start paying attention to your surroundings more. I remember not knowing where anything was last year. Ah, good times. You still don't know where everything is. You keep asking me where A12 was last week. That doesn't count. When does it ever count in your eyes? Stop flirting in front of us, you two. Do it in your own time. Cassie, I'm gonna turn you into a cat again, if you keep that up. Try me, ho. Anyway, the brush one here is Cassandra, she's Emily, and then the two lovebirds over there are Blake and Michael. Lovebirds? Really? Teresa's also part of the group, but I don't know where she is at the moment. Uh, I, I guess I'll introduce you to her once she gets her. It's nice to meet you all. Hey, did you say you'll turn Cassandra into a cat? Are you into potions and stuff? He isn't, but I am. I'm what you would call a witch. Oh, that's cool. I knew a few witches from my old town, but I never talked to them. How does it work? Explaining how magic works is basically impossible. It's like an energy around you, but that's all I can say for certain. Cassandra could do spells and create potions. She only does it when I'm there to supervise. Right, Cassie? Oh yeah, totally. Hey, the lines died down. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. So Paige, what do you think of Tyler? He seems like a nice guy, I guess. Whatever you do, don't let him talk about the evergreen charm he has going on. He's insane. The what charm? The evergreen charm. He's convinced himself that he is so dashing and handsome that every man and woman who sees him falls for him. Ah, that sounds like narcissism. Luckily, Tyler's only joking when it comes to that kind of thing. He's a nice guy, I promise. He also has a girlfriend, so don't get any wrong ideas. Wrong ideas? It's fine. I don't see Tyler that way. I don't really see anyone in that way. Relationships aren't something I've ever cared about. <laughs> hey, guys, Paige is speaking my kind of language. I agree. Who needs relationships anyways? Michael, there's a big difference between Paige not wanting to be in a relationship and you just not getting any bitches. Your words sting me. Don't worry, Michael. You'll find someone. Emma, don't get his hopes up. You'll break his little heart. I really hate you guys. If you hate us, then why are you here? Because Blake and Tyler are here. Well, they're not at the moment, but uh, shut up. Hey, that was uncalled for. You deserved it. I haven't eaten all day. I'm surprised I'm still alive. You just love exaggerating things, don't you? Cassie, love me for who I am. Does this happen all the time? You mean Cassie's remarks? Yes, she does them all the time. Tyler, I will break your kneecaps. You may be good at magic, but in terms of actual strength, you're pretty weak. I'll beat you in a fight any day of the week. He has a point. Are you sure about that? I could crumple you up like a piece of paper if I wanted to. You probably have to ask for help in order to do that, seeing that you have the strength of a toddler. I could beat you up ten times before you even land a single hit. Yeah, you know a thing or two about landing hits, don't you? What does that even mean? Are they about to fight? I really hope so. Cassie would probably lose, though. Ah. Hey, I'm pretty strong as well. Michael, you can barely do a push-up before collapsing. Well, remember when I got really strong? I beat all you guys. 
You know, obviously my situation was bad, but I was still strong. You tried to kill me and Tyler. Yeah, and you destroyed my house. Do you know how expensive replacing the ceiling was? How much? I don't know, but I'm sure it wasn't cheap. Well, you blamed it on the earthquake, so technically it wasn't Michael's fault. What are you guys talking about? Basically, a bunch of us got possessed by this British guy last year, and we got really strong. And it was traumatizing. Yeah, we almost died like ten times. Really? What happened after? I slipped a cat potion into the British guy's drink, and now he's a cat wandering the streets of Brayden by himself. Hold on, you can turn people into cats? You must be really great at magic. I'm not that great, but I'm getting better. You've always been good, Cassie. You just don't see it. That is so cool! Hey, I'm gonna finish my lunch and then head off, I think. I have no idea where Teresa is. Oh, yeah. Has anyone seen her recently? Oh, hi. Can I help you? You're Teresa Keaton, right? That is me. Ah, good. Sorry to bother you. I was just wondering where A3 was. Do you know? Oh, it's in the main block, just up the stairs and then the first classroom on the left. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Thanks, TT. Excuse me? Something wrong? Why did you call me that? TT? What's wrong with calling you that? Would you prefer bitch? Who are you? I don't think my name would have any use to you. You don't know who I am, but I definitely know who you are. What are you talking about? You see, Teresa, I've heard stuff about you from the people I talk to. And I think I can say that I know a lot about your past, about why you moved to Brayden last year. I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. No one likes a liar, Teresa. What would Sophia say about this? How do you know about her? Like I said, I talk to a lot of people. I have lots of connections. I'm not in the mood for this. Whatever happened with Sophia wasn't real. She lied about everything. And if you're too stupid to see that, then I have nothing else to say to you. People like to gossip, TD. Can you imagine what people would say if they found out about what you did? I didn't do anything. Sure you didn't. That's why you were visited by the police so much. That's why you ran away from your old town. You were just so innocent that you fled from the crime scene. I left because no matter what would happen, no one believed me. And that's the beauty of society. Nothing ever stays buried for long. Eventually, People will talk, and everything will come out again. I wonder what would happen if everyone found out again. All of the rumors were just that. Rumors! You have no proof to accuse me of anything. Oh, really? Well, I disagree. Do you remember that sleepover you and she had? The one on Easter last year? That wasn't- Doesn't matter how much you deny it. The truth always comes out. I have evidence that would destroy your life. So don't raise your voice at me. That video wasn't my fault. Of course you'd say that. So, have you told everyone about what happened? Have you told your little friends about what you did? I didn't do anything. Liar. What do you even want from me? Why are you doing this? Well, I was just gonna post this video online and let the fire start itself, but... I thought it would be great to have some... fun. Fun? Teresa, I won't release the video if you do whatever I say, whenever I say. Are you blackmailing me? I wouldn't use the term blackmailing. All you need to do is do what I want and I won't post the video. It's as simple as that. You wouldn't want everyone to see who you really are, would you? I... I... I didn't think so. I'll be in touch soon, Teresa. Oh, and one more thing. If you tell anyone about this, or disobey me in any way whatsoever, I will post the video instantly, and then watch as your entire life crumbles around you. So don't piss me off, okay?
Hello? Is there anyone there? Mm-hmm.